Well, for mom and pop businesses in Kansas City, and this is really unique, not just here, but in the country. Here to tell us all about it is Councilman Scott Taylor. I'm Joel Jensen, and we are coming to you here at the World War One Museum. Welcome. Oh, thank you. It's good to be here. So tell us about this. This is very interesting. It's different. It's not happening anywhere else. Tell us what what it is. You have a committee, what the committee is talking about, and how you came to the topics that you're talking about. I'm happy to. It's good, good to be here and I'm excited to talk about small businesses in Kansas City. We uh, found back in 2010 when a bunch of us were running for city council and the mayor uh, that there were a lot of issues with, with people trying to start a business in the city. There was a, it, we, we kept hearing how difficult it was for a variety of reasons. So we decided to form the first ever city council committee dedicated to helping small businesses. Small business issues, everything from financing to cutting uh, the red tape, streamlining the process, making it easier for the mom and pop businesses to start up all over the city in all neighborhoods. I, uh, I read where you had like 67 different things that came up right off the top of the bat. How do you address 67 different you know, concerns that small businesses have. Well, that, that was the really interesting thing about it. We decided to hold hearings all over the city, outside of City Hall. So we had one on the east side at, uh, you know, 34th and Troost on a Monday night, on the west side in the deli, uh, north, south. And we, we wanted to hear uh, honest feedback from businesses. And so we said, put everything on the table. We're all new council people. We want honest feedback. We weren't here before. And so we, we got a lot of honest, serious feedback. They, they were very, uh, very good feedback from businesses. And that's where the 67 suggestions actually came from our small business community. All the mom and pop businesses that came in to testify provided those ideas to us to implement. Um, I'm sure that it probably helps them just having a place where they can voice their concerns. But what, what can you do in, in, in follow through? How do you follow through with an idea? What we did, because uh, we wanted to show action very quickly, so back in 2011 we had 17 hearings that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. and then we put together that list of 67 ideas. We also made everybody, uh, somebody on the city staff accountable for implementing each idea, and we kept uh, quarterly uh, follow-up meetings until all those ideas were implemented. So within about uh, one calendar year, all 60 plus of those ideas were implemented very quickly. So we keep going? We keep going and we address things as they, they arise, uh, but we're also in the process of automating the city system so it'll be easier. You can start businesses from home. Uh, we, we've set up a uh, micro lending fund that's growing or we're, we're adding to it. it it's a $1.7 million fund to give anything from a $500 loan out to uh, a $50,000 loan to a small business. And, and the great thing about the program is it's working all over the city. About 50% of the loans are going east of Truce, which is really an underserved area, which we really wanted to make this program work uh, to start businesses all over the city. Well, it sounds very exciting. It's first in the nation, so I'm sure that people are probably looking to you and watching to see how successful that it is. I'll tell you, we, it's, it's been interesting. We've had uh, not only support from the small business community and larger businesses that want small businesses to succeed, but a lot of neighborhood leaders have really been extra supportive of this because a lot of these small businesses anchor neighborhoods are on the outer part of a neighborhood and, and support that neighborhood and so that's been exciting the other thing I'd like to mention is we've had uh, national attention we've actually had uh, the National League of Cities holding a conference here to see what we were doing with small businesses and uh, quite frankly other cities such as Chicago called to see what we were doing the mayor of Chicago contacted our mayor uh, and, and we provided them with some advice so that's a great news story, and I'm sure glad that you had uh, time to come and sort of explain it to us. And sadly, we are out of time, so we'll have to have you back. All right, well, I appreciate it. It's been very good to be here with you. All right, that's all the time we have.